These foods kept me stuck for years, even though they're considered healthy. And the worst part, I was drinking it every single morning. I thought it gave me energy, but it was suddenly blocking my recovery. If you've been doing everything, the right meds, diet, supplements, even exercise, but your MS recovery still feels stuck, you're not alone. You're not crazy. There may be one everyday food or drink quietly sabotaging your progress. And for me, that was caffeine. Number three, artificial sweeteners and low sugar junk. Let's get this one out of the way. Many of us already avoid processed junk, but it's worth repeating. Artificial sweeteners can disrupt gut health, spike cravings, and contribute to inflammation, all of which can worsen autoimmune issues like MS. Number two, healthy whole grains that spike blood sugar. Oatmeal is an evil. I eat it. But some whole grains, especially in packaged processed forms, still spike blood sugar, which can impair insulin sensitivity and fuel low-grade inflammation. For MS recovery, stable blood sugar and high fiber matter way more than that stupid whole grain label. Number one, caffeine, the hidden villain. This is where everything changed for me. Caffeine is a vasoconstrictor meaning it narrows blood vessels and that can impair the one of the most important steps in MS recovery, clearing out myelin debris after a relapse. Why does that matter? Because oligodendrocyte precursor cells, OPCs, can't remyelinate if the debris is in the way. For years, I drank something called I called the Juju every morning. It gave me a boost. 10 ounces of water, a scoop of powder cappuccino mix, and a teaspoon of coffee grounds. I loved it. I looked forward to it every every morning. I thought I couldn't function without it. But it was packed with caffeine. And if remyelination was the goal, that was working ex against me. Six months ago, January, I stopped caffeine completely. And that's when my recovery took off. For the first time since my diagnosis, I don't worry about falling when I walk. My steps feel automatic again, not forced, not fragile, just normal. I've had hemiparesis all my life, was born with it. My right side is significantly weaker than my left. Even after lifting weights for over a decade, I always had to sit down and use my thigh to counterbalance when training my right arm. But now, something's changed. For the first time ever, I can lift with my right forearm while standing. No counterbalance, no cheat. Muscles like my flexor carpi ulnaris, pronator teres, and palmaris longus in my forearm are finally bearing weight like they should. 
there is a trickle down effect happening in my real world situation. It feels like new neurons are forming and getting engulfed and remyelinated. Here's the thing, niacin, vitamin B3, is a vasodilator. It opens up blood flow. It activates microglia to clear out that myelin debris. It supports remyelination. But caffeine, it does the exact opposite. It constricts blood vessels, increases stress hormones, and might delay healing in the brain. So what's the better swap? If you need energy in the morning, try this instead. Take niacin with a glass of water, lots of water, get natural sunlight, and move your body and eat. If you're serious about remyelination, if you want to more than just manage your symptoms, try removing caffeine completely, even for a month. <laughs> See what changes. For me, it was one of the biggest unlocks of my recovery. Not just improvement, but something I once thought was impossible. People ask me what I notice most about my recovery. I usually say things like, I don't really have any symptoms anymore. And that seems kind of lame. Don't know if they believe me or not. But this, my forearm strength, my walking, my balance, these aren't subjective feelings. These are measurable. These are real. And if it can happen for me, maybe it can happen for you.